Hello everyone. Welcome back to Embertronics. In our last video or last post, we have seen how to interface the Ethernet to the STM32. In that example, we have enabled that Ethernet and lower IP. Then we have assigned the static IP address. Then we have connected that board to the router using that Ethernet cable. So whenever we access this IP address, so that time we will get this index.html page. When we press some other URL, then we will get 404 error. So this is what we did in our last tutorial. In this tutorial, we will set up CGI, which is common gateway interface. By using that, we will control the onboard LEDs in the STF32 board. What is CGI? CGI is nothing but common gateway interface. This is part of the HTTP. So this CGI will act as a medium between the server and client. So whatever data that we are transmitting from the client that will go through the CGI. In this demo, I'm going to use the previous examples source code. We are going to add our new changes on top of our previous code. First, we are going to enable all onboard LEDs. So previously we have enabled PB0. Now we will enable PB7 as a GPIO output. Then PB14 as a GPIO output. Then go to connectivity. Sorry, not connectivity. Uh, go to multimedia middleware. Lower IP in the HTTP. We are going to enable that CGI. If you see this, we are going to enable HTTP CG old style. Just enable that. That's it. Okay. Save this file. It will add the auto generated codes. Now we will add our code. First, include the header files. Now I am going to create three variables to control the three LEDs. So we have added our variables. Now add this uh, function prototype. So I will explain this uh, CGI handler later. Now we will create the CGI structure. So the name is CGI LED, sorry, LED CGI. Uh, we are going to set two members in this structure. One is the CGI name. So this is the name of that script that we are going to send and the handler. So I'm going to use this handler. So we have created the CGI structure. We have initialized the HTTP. Now I am going to remove this count because it is not required now. Then we will register that CGI handlers. See, this is the structure that we have created here. And I am passing that structure's address as a first argument and one. This means how many scripts that we are going to use. We are going to use one script, so I just gave one. Okay, so here I will just remove all the unwanted codes. Let it be that uh, MXLWIP process. Now I'm going to control the LED based on these variables. If you see here, let me align this. Okay, if you see here, I'm writing that PB0 based on that green LED variable, PB7 blue LED variable, PB14 red LED variable. Okay, so from this CGI handler, this handler, whatever we are receiving in from the uh, client, we will up update that value to this LED. Then based on that vari variable, we are making that LED on or off. Now we will write the handler. So I have already wrote the handler. I'll just copy paste. See, this is the handler. Okay, it has four arguments. One is index, the index of that script. In this example, we are going to use only one script. So always index will be zero. 
number of params in this okay i will explain you this later first i will explain you that html code in the fs data just go inside that let me open that index.html see here i have created that script form okay which is cgi script if you see here this is the action name if you cross check with our code we have given this name right so both are same the first parameter is green and the value will be on or off the second parameter will be blue and the value will be on or off third parameter will be red and value will be on or off okay whenever we click that submit button so it will send these three parameters to the server so now we'll come back to the code so in the handler now number of params right so in our html file we are we are having three parameters so the number of params will be three and pc param pc value see this pc param will be the name of that parameter for example green or blue or red okay and pc value will be on or off okay see for example assume that uh, okay let me explain you in a different way just open this index html see here this is the uh, index html green led blue led red led so here i am just going to send on 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 i am just clicking the send if you see this yeah this error will be there because the server is not there yet okay see this one led control dot cgi this is our script name green is a parameter name and value is on blue is a parameter name value is on red is a parameter name on is a value so this entire string will be passed to that handler so that's what if you see this if the uh, uh, i is zero that means the value will be green if the if that is a green then we are checking the value if that value of that green is on then we are making this variable as one if it is off then we are making that green led as off so second value we are checking so if it is a blue then we are checking the state if it is on we are making that blue led on otherwise making it off red also same if the red led is on we are making this variable as one otherwise zero okay and we are returning the same index.html file to that client okay the stm32 side code is ready now i mean it is not yet ready but still we have to make that create that fs data let me open that okay before that you have to download this file fs data maker 2.zip file i have downloaded that already so let me explain that we have two files index.html and 4.4.html so this index.html that we have seen already it will ask our uh, led status and when you press send it will send it to the client right so we will have to convert this to html file to the fs data custom and fs data.c just open the terminal here we will run that spell script so it has generated i will copy these datas copy this and paste it to our project go to middleware third party lower ip source apps http and paste it here see we have added these two files and these two files have been excluded from the build now we'll build this test build successfully let me flash this code okay let me run it now the code is running but it is not connected to the router we'll try that 
192.16025 see it is not visible now i am going to connect this stm32 to the router now i have connected that stm32 to the server sorry router now let me ping that ip address see we have got that html file now i am going to turning on all the leds green led on blue led on red led on send this check the hardware it has sent this script to the stm32 and the all the leds are on on now yes all are on now i am going to turn off the green led and red led only blue led will be on send this check the hardware turn on blue sorry turn off green led and turn on other two leds check the hardware it is working now turn off all the leds all the leds have been turned off now we are sending that script cgi script to this uh, stm32 server and we are controlling this onboard leds i hope you have learned something new today if you have any doubts or any confusions please let us know we will try to solve that the source code of this project link have been given in the description please check that so if you are watching this video without subscribing us please subscribe to us because you will be instantly notified whenever we post some videos please share this video to your friends so they can also learn something new see you soon in our next video thank you